Every season, there's a new mod Bungie adds to the artifact that changes the way people play. In the season of the Haunted, it was Volatile Rounds, and in this season, it's Classic Restoration. The new mod that suddenly has made everybody unkillable. It's a great mod, but it's also made a lot of people not even think about how to heal with Solo 3.0. In this video, I'm going to show you guys multiple ways to be able to heal on all three classes without needing this mod. There are three questions we have to answer before we go ahead. First one is, what does Classy Restoration do? To explain that, let's talk about what Classy Restoration is. It's a new kind of heal added to the game that allows continuous healing even through damage. Classy Restoration gives restoration to X every time you use your class ability and it's a stronger version of restoration. Second question is, is there any way to replicate restoration 2x without this mod? And the answer to this one is yes, kind of. The Titan can do it with an exotic and the Warlock can do it by jumping through some hoops, but I currently don't know any way you could do this on a Hunter after classic restoration is gone. Third question is, do we need Restoration 2X or is the 1X version enough? Right now you can see on screen what it looks like taking damage while having Restoration 1X and 2X. It's pretty similar so today's video will focus on how we can get Restoration 1X but also ways to add more heals to this if you want to get an extra layer of safety. So we'll start with the two classes that can get Restoration 2X. The Titans can get this by using the exotic helmet Laurely. Recently everyone has become a Titan main because of this exotic but if it gets nerfed or changed at any point, let's talk about other things that we could use. The simplest way is to change your grenade from whatever it is right now to healing grenade. But that means that you lose out on using your grenade as an offensive tool so if you don't want to do that, let's look at plan B. The Soul Invictus aspect which makes Sunspots on Solar Ability and Scorch Kills also grants Restoration 1x when you step into it and it lasts for 5 seconds. You could step in and out of the Sunspot to reset the timer or you could extend the timer by using the Fragment Ember of Empyrean which extends the timer up to 12 seconds on Solar Kills from all sources. If you want a healing exotic option to go with this, we've got the Crest of our Falupa that gives heals to you and your allies whenever you use your barricade. Since everyone is using max resilience to reduce incoming damage anyways, you would have a short cooldown on your barricades and you can add the fragment Ember of Sinjin on your subclass to help charge your barricade even quicker when you scorch enemies. Moving on to the Warlocks, this is where things start to get interesting because without any exotic we can get Restoration 2x, but this one is kind of problematic. You see. The way you get Restoration 2x is by using the Phoenix Dive while you have Hit Rises. The problem is that Restoration lasts for 2 seconds and the Phoenix Dive animation also takes 2 seconds. So before you land back on the ground, poof, the Restoration 2x is gone. But just like we had a hack for airborne kills in my poison build video for ways to get airborne kills without staying in the air, I have a hack for this as well. See, what we're trying to do is get kills while we're phoenix diving, but during this animation, you can't shoot your weapon. What you could do is you could throw a grenade before you start the animation. The problem is a lot of grenades would probably kill the enemy before you land, but the fusion grenade has a timer where it takes three seconds after you stick enemy for it to detonate. And it also does a lot of damage, which will guarantee that you'll kill the enemy that you stuck. Well, that's if you stuck it in the first place and you miss your grenade. Hopefully you don't do that. So this is what we're going to do. Throw a grenade, pause, and then Phoenix Dive. What this does is if you have the Empyrean Fragment we talked about earlier, it will extend the duration of Restoration 2x as you land and you can continue to chain kills to keep this going. So again, grenade, pause, dive. Grenade, pause, dive die if you get used to the timing it's really not that difficult to do and you pretty much can have class of restoration like you never left now let's get into the healing for the hunter funny enough even though this doesn't have restoration 2x i think it's one of the more fun classes to heal on unlike the titans where if you switch your grenade to healing you lose your offensive grenade you could use gunpowder's gamble as your main grenade and you're fine but if you're greedy 
and you still want that grenade, I got you. My first suggestion would be to use the Assassin's Cow which heals you and makes you go invisible on melee kills. I have a link to my personal video in the description below if you want to check that out. But if you think that helmet is too ugly and it's messing up with your swag, still I got you. This next exotic is equally as ugly though but at least it's got ornaments so you could kind of style it up a little bit. The exotic is the warm husk. Now most people know what this exotic does, it heals you on dodge which is similar to what classy restoration would do but this heal is not continuous so what we'll do is we'll add a mod which I call restoration 0.5x which gives you heals through damage but ticks of heal instead of just a continuous heal. The mod is called Well of Life. Picking up a solar elemental well grants ticks of heal through damage for 10 seconds. So here's what we'll do. We'll use melee well maker to generate solar wells. With knife trick we should get our melee back each time we do this. When we pick up the wells we have heals for 10 seconds due to Well of Life. We could then dodge and with the reaping well maker mod we make a void well on our next weapon kill. We then use this void well with well of utility to recharge our dodge if we really need to get a burst to healing. In this lost sector I'm doing in the video, I'm using this build while about 50 night levels under and you could see how aggressive I'm able to be because I know I have healing options. I can make a separate video about this build if you'd like to understand what makes it work, just let me know in the comment section. That's it for me today guys, I hope you guys have fun changing your play style a little bit and preparing for the future of healing with solar 3.0 thank you all so much for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one peace